Alright guys, welcome back to a new video. Today's video is a simple counter. Um, and yeah, uh, you have an attack and an counter. Uh, the attack is simply just a punch. And this is a counter. Uh, yeah, I sort of uh, have dummies for this. They are pretty much doing the same thing. Uh, let me just show you the counter. So it's counter here and the tech here. Yeah, it's really simple. Uh, while you're being countered, you can do pretty much nothing. Uh, yeah. You can't attack or anything while being countered. Uh, now let's explain. Uh, let me explain the code to you. Uh, and up. Yeah. All right. Uh, so uh, yeah, nothing special in the workspace. And then we have a color correction in lightning for um for the um the. Uh, the second attack, after being pushed away, uh, for this magic attack, uh, we are changing the color uh, correction a bit there to, I don't know, to something like this, I think it was. Yeah. Just for the effect. Um, then in replicated search, we have values, uh, the basic counter and the sun value. Uh, we just add the basic counter to our um, enemy or to our player who is countering. Uh, yeah, and stun, we are adding stun uh, value to both players um, while they are being countered. Uh, then we have uh, a module script for the counter, so we can easily call it from anywhere. Uh, and we have uh, a counter event, remote event, and uh, uh, effect remote event because we are playing uh, every effect on every client and not on the server. <clears throat> then we have our effects here. We can change change them. This is for the camera, and here are the animations. You can just change the animations. I think I have uh, a dummy here with all the animations being used so yeah and um, then let's look into the counter module uh, just, just getting some services then this is the function that we call from the other scripts uh, we get the, the the character that counters I also set it here character that counters and character that gets countered. Uh, we also get the hitbox because we want to destroy the hitbox then. Then add a stunt value to the player that counters and to the player that gets countered for five seconds. You get uh, both humanoid root parts and both humanoids. We set everything to zero or false. Box speed zero, jump height zero, auto rotate parts for both players. Then we stop both animations for both players. Then we will position uh, the uh, player that got countered in front of the uh, other player. Uh, we're doing this it also again after 0.3 seconds because sometimes uh, yeah the char uh, the character is not really in front of the other one. Uh, so just to ensure that it's really in front of the other one. Other one. Uh, here we are firing, uh, at first checking if the player that we counter exists in uh, our players. So the player. Uh, and if it does, we will fire a remote event uh, to the client with our player, our character, and uh, just the, um, I also use uh, every time use it as a 
like as a state here yeah, so the camera state because here we want to change something with the camera camera and uh, so if we look into the local script here we are simply just creating a new camera uh, and check yeah we check if the state is our camera and here it is uh, and yeah we yeah, are simply just making a new camera positioning it uh, in front of the player pairs and you can play around with these uh, values numbers uh, if you want here we are um, disabling the backpack uh, then we are here uh, moving the camera a bit after a delay of 0.5 seconds uh, these both delays are for the color correction this is for um, um, uh, yeah, for um, uh, um, for setting the uh, current camera's C frame to our uh, new camera, yeah, and uh, then we have a tree in for our bit of view here, so just so it's a bit zoomed in, and after a delay of uh, four point two five seconds, we will disconnect uh, this um, render step function. We will destroy the camera, uh, set our uh, backpack to true again, so we can see our backpack again, and tween the field of view to 70 again. Uh, yeah, this was the remote event. Here we will uh, load the, the countering animation, and we will already also load the countered animation. Then after 0.75 seconds, we will play the counter animation. Uh, play a sound. You can find all the sounds in here. In sound service, and you see the sounds. Uh, yeah, we'll come to that later. Uh, we damage the enemy with 5 damage. And then after 0.5 seconds, we will add a body velocity to our... Um, to our enemy so it gets pushed forward then after one second we will play the hit animation again uh, the countered animation then we will do the magic sound uh, and damage the, uh, the the enemy again and after another 2.5 seconds we will reset everything the walk speed to jump height and out rotate um yeah this, this this here is for the for this magic uh, attack um as you can see here we are again firing a, a remote event this time this this remote event uh, to all clients uh, which we receive in here and let me open it yeah so we are firing the client, our clients with our enemy character, with our uh, counter hit. So we can again like the state, we have our action, if it's counter hit then. Uh, with our human, humanoid root part and this is for emitting the particles. So we will uh, attach the this part, particle, the effect to to the enemy's torso and then we will uh, emit the effect with the first amount so with this one and uh, then we added a highlight to the enemy and uh, between the highlights um, um highlights yeah pill transparency and outline transparency to one then after 0.5 seconds uh these 0.5 seconds, 1.5 seconds. Uh, we will pretty much do the same, but with the um, yeah, with, with the other effect. Uh, this is a uh, yeah, this effect is this one. So the first one is the hit effect, and the second effect is this effect. Yeah. Uh, this was the counter module and everything here 
this is uh, pretty much the same as here, but with different color and longer tween time. Um, then let me just show you what we do when we counter and for our attack. And um, first for the counter. Uh, so we just do uh, get a character. Blah blah blah. Pretty simple. Uh, then on tool activated, we check if our demons is false, and we don't have the stunt value. This one inside of our um, values folder, so we are not stunned. Then we can use the move. Then we will play the uh, animation, our countered animation. Uh, this one. Then we add a counter value for one second into our player, so he the player counters for one second. If you want to change it, just change this number. Then we will just uh, add this sound, this counter sound. Yeah. And the highlight to our player that we again tween to uh, one. The fade transparency and the offline transparency. Then after 1.5 seconds, we can counter again. Just change this number to a higher number if you want to change the cooldown. Now for our attack script, it's also pretty simple. Uh, again, get the character like that. Then again checking if we are not stunned and our demons is false, then we will play the animation and after uh, 0.3 seconds uh, we will create a hitbox ready to our player. Pretty simple. And change the transparency for the hitbox here. It's really just a simple hitbox script. Uh, then we will check here. Yeah. This is the important part if you want it to work for your moves. So it is pretty important. Uh, yeah. So, a hitbox will touch. If something touched our hitbox and it has a humanoid, so it's a character, uh, we will check if uh, first the character that we hit isn't our own character and if our hit debons is false. Then we will check if our character dot values, so this one, uh, has a basic counter inside of them. And if it has a basic counter in this values folder, the basic uh, counter value, this one that we add here for one second, if it has that inside uh, of the values folder, then we will uh, pretty much fire, uh, yeah, activate this function to do all the countered stuff. Uh, yeah. And if that happens, we won't uh, damage our enemy, and yeah. And here we are just simply uh, calling the function with our character, our character that we hit, and the hitbox, because we want to destroy the hitbox. Um, yeah. And after one second, we are just uh, um, resetting the. The hitbox uh, cooldown. Yeah, this was pretty much uh, everything for the simple counter. If you have any questions, join the Discord or DM me. Um, anyways, have a great day. Bye.